because of the Russian Ukraine conflict uh, and sanctions against Russia, all energy and food prices have gone up, especially for people living in the West. Those that are living in the West, including Christians, Hindus, Muslims, and, all, and from all other places, what is your advice to them to survive the high cost of living? Well, on this visit to Britain, I have traveled from London to Portsmouth, to Bristol, to Exeter, to Bradford, to Manchester, to Glasgow, to Edinburgh, to Inverness, to Derby, to Nottingham, and now I'm in Leicester. And I have found one thing consistent all through my travel these last three weeks, and that is that people now have less money to spend. The sales of my books tell me the story. And when they do buy a book, they can only afford to buy the small book. This is a clear sign to me that people are suffering, that the cost of living is increasing, the price of heat, the price of oil, the price of food is rising constantly, and they are in panic. So they have to conserve their resources. So the first response I have given is that uh, I have a lecture in Birmingham and I've decided for the lecture in Birmingham, indeed, I'm going to reduce the prices of all my books by half, 50%, so that those who want the knowledge can afford to buy the books, because I know you are suffering. So I need to reduce the prices of books to help you. That's my first response. The second response is, I have consistently advised for years and years and years, do not remain in this country. Even if you are British, your parents were British, your great-grandparents were British, still this country is doomed. The United States and Canada are doomed, France and Britain, France and Germany, these countries are doomed because this is in Surah Rahman. Allah is going to intervene in this great war. This is Surah Rahman. And Allah will help Russia, help Russia against the West. So I am anticipating that the West is not only going to be defeated in this great war, but that the Western civilization is not going to play anything more than an insignificant role in world affairs after the Great War. So the best thing to do is Hitra. You go to the, to the villages up in the mountains where people are poor, and you live with them, and you share whatever you have with them. And when the villagers accept you, mashallah, you have a lovely life in the villages, in the mountains. So you don't stay in the city, but go to the side and live with the, in the villages of, and you want to stay here. Then I say, well, the next best thing is to leave the cities of Britain and go to live in small communities in the remote country, British countryside. But only one in a thousand will do that. The 999 will continue to live in the cities until the ship sinks because they're nothing more than sheep and cattle. 